I think that in my generation, uh, our parents who were immigrants wanted to be Americans. So they didn't push Yiddish. Uh, if anything, it was Hebrew. You know, we went to Hebrew school. In some of the urban centers, like my cousins who grew up in New York, my uh, uncles were socialists. And they belonged to the Arbiter Ring Workmen's Circle. And they had schools that were traditional schools. They never went to shul or anything, but they always celebrated the holidays. And the, my cousins, I'm sorry to say I didn't, but they all read and wrote Yiddish. And Yiddish was very important to them. And my uncle in Argentina, too, uh, culturally, uh, Jews always spoke Yiddish together, more so than America. Uh, so I think that, uh, and what, what your organization is doing, I know when we get the magazine Pak and Traga, I'm the first one who reads, I pull it out from Ruben's hands. And I think in the back it's Yiddish, right? He would read the Yiddish. I don't read Yiddish. And I, we pass it on to friends of ours who are too cheap to, <laughs> to contribute. Uh, I think a few of them have because of this. But, uh, or sometimes, I hate to throw anything away. So I'll take it to, Reuben was going to doctors like almost every day for years. So I would bring them to doctor's offices because people have nothing else to do. So, you know, maybe it'll catch on, you know.